It's worthwhile taking risks and trying to do something you're really, uh, you know, excited by. Like working in the real world, I would say, you know, it is important to be well-rounded. And you know, I think it's really important uh, to build organ organizations where people actually want to work together. You, you will have many, many, many opportunities to reinvent yourself. And so, uh, you know, so I think, you know, it's worthwhile taking risks and trying to do something you're really, uh, you know, excited by. And if the first attempt you don't do it, you know, you can try again and, you know, things tend to work out in the long run. If you work on really difficult things, you're better off because you have no competition. Others aren't working on uh, that difficult a problem. And even if you fail, you end up doing something great in the process. And so I think that's the philosophy which has guided us all through these years. Uh, you know, for me, it mainly is I've always been very passionate. So, you know, I'm an optimist about how technology can make a difference. And so I focus on that and that way you kind of tend to forget about uh, the other things. The, the rest is noise, so in some ways. You know, if at some point in your life, you know, you have to work with people where you feel a bit insecure, right? That's essential because that means you're working with people who are better than you and who are pushing you, right? And uh, so I always encourage if you if you actually feel very secure in what you do, uh, you know, that means you're doing something comfortable and you're not pushing yourself. And so uh, there are many, many times I've felt uh, working with people in a group, am I doing enough? Are these people seem much better than me. And I think, I think that's an inherent part of learning. Working in the real world, I would say, you know, it is important to be well-rounded. It's important to, uh, you know, try different things, I, uh, you know, take some risks. Uh, you know, I would encourage people to, uh, you know, follow their passions a little bit more. You know, I would like to see uh, people, you know, people value creativity, value experience of doing things, uh, taking risks. And, uh, you know, um, academics is important but it is not as important as yeah, it's also yeah. made, made out to be. The thing which attracted me to Google uh, and to internet in general is that it's a great equalizer, right? And so to me, I've always been struck by the fact that Google search worked the same mm -hmm. if, as long as you had access to computer with connectivity, if you were a rural kid anywhere, or if you were a professor at Stanford or Harvard. And, and to me, you know, I want Google to strive to push to do that, uh, not just build technology uh, for a certain segments, right? For me, it's, it matters that, you know, we drive technology as, a, as an equalizing force, as an enabler to uh, everyone around the world. When you're, when you're trying to run something uh, at the scale of Google, uh, you know, we have now over 60,000 people. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, you rely on other strong leaders. I think, you know, a lot of what I do is, you know, I have an outstanding leadership team. And it's learning to let go and really empowering people, uh, you know, at all levels of the organization. And, you know, trusting them to do doing the right thing. And as a leader, a lot of your job is to make those people successful. Uh, it's le less, less about trying to be successful and more about making sure you have good people and your, your work is to remove ba barriers, remove roadblocks for them uh, so that they can be successful in what they do. And so that's how I've always thought about it. And I've also valued uh, you know, teamwork quite a bit. And you know, I think it's really important uh, to build organ organizations where people actually want to work together. Yeah. Uh, you know, everything comes out of that. So setting up collaborative uh, cultures another big big thing I try to focus on.